Hello everyone. We're going to take a little bit of a break from the dogma and I'm going to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of being a Blender YouTuber or more specifically a community manager in the Blender space because I basically tied myself together with like all different types of people in the Blender community uh, especially through the Discord server. You may know that recently I announced a new art challenge. Well, I say recently, it was a few months back now. And we didn't actually get that many submissions, uh, but there were physical prizes available and some digital prizes. I made the decision to give everyone who submitted something to the challenge a prize in the end, because I just wanted to show how thankful I was that people actually invested the time into, well, you know, putting their skills to the test and trying to learn something for the sake of my little idea for a challenge. So I've been doing this thing recently, as you may know if you've been watching recent videos, where I've been giving uh, codes away to people which give them access to a private Discord server with unreleased files, like unfinished products and stuff. Stuff that they can sink their teeth into that most people won't really have an opportunity to see. So obviously because I've been learning about the shipping process for doing things like physical artwork, what we're watching now is just, I thought it may be slightly interesting to see how me and my productive mess has been doing this. I learned quite early on to use uh, sticky paper for like the shipping information and stuff so I wouldn't have to stick everything onto like the envelopes with sticky tape. But I like to take my time and actually make sure that I'm writing these things personally for people. However, when it comes to things like the Patreon letters, a lot of the messaging is the same. You know, like, thank you for your support over the years and, you know, it makes a big difference because one of the largest uh, challenges as a creator is financial instability. But I just love giving people things they can hold. So I have a lockbox where I keep all like the ID cards and stuff and then I have all different types of envelopes available and then I'll basically choose from those and then write the letters out, weigh them, do the shipping and then post them. I'll, I'll walk out and get my steps in, make sure I post it in, uh, in a letterbox. So here I'm basically getting the main prize ready for the person who won the challenge. It was actually a duo, uh, Technical and Bouncy Hippo. I've actually met these two before, they've come to the Blender conference and they've been active on the Discord server for years, and I really appreciate them. But only one person could keep the main prize, which was the prototype slate, so they decided amongst themselves that it would be Bouncy Hippo. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically cleaning up the prototype and making sure that all of the parts are physically stable, so like the actual paper inside the acrylic slate is kind of anchored with a bit of adhesive. And there's a little stand for them as well. I have packaging boxes and I'm basically making sure that everyone's getting like a copy of the card and for the actual main prize winner I wanted to make it a bit interesting so when they open the box there's an envelope on top of everything that says open me and there's a little note in there as well for them with a sticker and, and the cards contained in that and then for the actual prize I wanted just to you know wrap it up in bubble wrap so it's all nicely contained and packaged properly. I've had a little bit of practice doing this now, but as you can see, I'm kind of limited for space still, so I have to do all this stuff like on my bed and yeah, there I go, bubble wrap king, carrying things away. And here's a question, what color do you think the packing peanuts are? Yes, they're multicolored, of course they are. I had to do something artistic. So it's just a nice fun thing for uh, the winner to open once that turns up. The face of concentration. I'd always just put like a little bit of extra, uh, what is it, duct tape, gaffer tape, whatever the silver one is, just to make sure that it doesn't open during transit. Now for this next bit, another patron actually got back to me. This one, I will say their name, Victor Stepanov, who I have shared on a YouTube channel before. Uh, for the patrons, I use a special type of paper with an extra like letterhead that I've got printed out. Uh, Victor's been like uh, a supporter for over a year on the relevant tier, so they qualified for an ID card as well. And this, these cards are things that people can just buy on the merch store as well, but like I said, I just I like to give them as little gifts to people that have been around for a while as a token of appreciation. Don't ask me why there's a random skull there, I just I like skulls for some reason. Oh, and also all the uh, paper that doesn't get used from the printing process when I'm printing up like uh, everyone's addresses for the shipping I will get recycled for physical artwork as well as part of my physical art projects. So I always make sure to like file it away, even like just the back of sticky paper bits that can still be like stuck together as part of collage. I, I make sure to try and recycle everything like that. Now this is a bit different. I've got like a couple of old phones that I've been like keeping around and I never really wanted to get rid of them because phones 
are super useful. They have pretty good microphones on them and good cameras on them, which means that they can be recycled as just like backup cameras for all different types of things, even like vlogs like this. So what I'm effectively doing here is just labeling them and making notes about them. The writing might be a little bit difficult to understand. So for this next bit, I'm trying to keep on top of the Community Roundup series, which is a collection of videos we do introducing people to different projects happening in the Blender community. One of the things I really liked about this series was that it always gave people who are mentioned like a lovely surprise to see their channels mentioned or their projects, artwork, whatever. And I like having the ability to give that moment to people. You know, it's a privilege having people watch and listen to anything you say. I still have the massive imposter syndrome thinking no one's going to watch anything I make anyway, so hi to everyone listening. Like, it's weird. It doesn't matter how many times people say they love your content. There's just that little thing in the back of your head. But anyway, I want to try and get more confident with the creation process. So as an exercise, I've started experimenting with improv shorts. Now, let me explain that. For the shorts on my channel, where I recommend a specific creator or a project just within 60 seconds, which have got quite a lot of traction in the past. They are traditionally scripted, which is good because they don't take that long to script. But for those of you with attention deficit problems, you know that the act of scripting something is kind of like this mental roadblock. It's a bookmark and it's an excuse to delay something. So what I've done is I've taken a creator, which I think deserves more attention, specifically Nugget, also known as Hot Dog Nugget, and I just sat down and tried to improv a nice short for them, speaking about some of their recent projects that I found inspiring. And to be honest, I think it turned out pretty good. Maybe not as concise as the scripted shorts, but I think if I can gain more confidence in my ability to improv these things and not have to over-research and over-prepare everything, then I might be able to give more of those shout-out moments to more people over time. And I think it's nice seeing speaking about other creators as gifts rather than as work, because when you see it as work, as something to research, prepare, file away in a big list ready for recording, I think that, again, kind of removes this humanity element, which I think is quite a dangerous thing to do. And it's also interesting because I've done a variety of shout outs for people randomly in the past that have been like so on the nose and like so focused in their recommendations that people have thought they're sponsored segments, but they actually aren't. I'll get, like one example is Yan Sculpts. Now, I don't even know if Yan knows that I did this, but one of my shorts is called Improve Your Sculpting in Blender and it's got 136,000 views because I was basically just recommending Yan's educational content. And I believe I also mentioned some of their course content as well. So here you go, you get someone questioning it every now and again. Again. This is an obvious ad, right? Free upvotes. I say, nope, a lot of my content is part of a community roundup series, no sponsors at this time, but there are occasional affiliate partnerships. Yan Sculpts is not currently a partner, which is true. They never asked me to talk about their stuff. And to my knowledge, we're not linked up under any affiliate partnership. So sometimes you put yourself slightly in the firing line just by giving like such heavy recommendations for other creators. But like I said, I don't even know if Yan knows about this. Pretty successful short, all things considered. But yeah, I like to think of these as like secret gifts waiting to be discovered, waiting for the moment when a creator realizes they've actually been recommended somewhere as a nice little surprise that kind of breaks the fourth wall in a way. So yeah, a um, bit of a different video this time, but hopefully you found it interesting. And if you made it this far, then put some kind of gift emoji in the comments. If you do that, I'll be able to see which of you did make it this far. And remember to subscribe if you're interested in more Blender content, CG news, inspiration, recommendations, tools, development, etc. So thanks for joining me on this vlog. Have a fantastic day everyone and I will see you next time.